with the shark fin in the river. Woo, it's cold. I'll stick with the Well, hi, my name is Charlie Chapanier. I'm a senior and I am graduating today. Um, I am an exercise and sports science major, minor in biology. I'm graduating from Texas State University. I also happen to be Trevor Chapanier's uh, older sister. I plan on going on and teaching for my next career. I'm also anticipating um, completing my master's program through the Texas State University. Um, I'm planning on getting my master's in exercise and sports science because I want to be a soccer coach. And I feel that knowledge is power. And with that, you can help so many people, especially the children I plan on working with. They come from lower income area and they don't have a whole lot of experience with sports or um, especially soccer. They don't have any like clubs or anything like that, like a real competitive league in that area. So I really feel like I'll be bringing a strong base of knowledge to them so they can learn how to become an athlete um, the proper way and really learn how to mold and sculpt what they want to be as far as becoming an athlete. So that's a little bit about me. Um, I've lived in the San Marcos area now for about four years. I've absolutely loved it. I remember my very first day here, freshman year, moving in. Mom cried. She wouldn't let me go for like an hour. It was kind of awesome. Um, but no, college has been a great experience. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Um, if I could do it over again, I'd do it the same. Been through some ups, I've been through some downs. But it was definitely all worth it in the end. You've learned so much. you gained so many friends in the process. People that you're never going to forget. Um, yeah, it's just been an overall amazing experience, and I look forward to hearing Trevor's stories about his first year at college. I hope he makes it through okay. I think Big Sis gave him some good tips so he can survive and make it through, and he can always call me in the middle of the night if he needs anything, so it's awesome. And I would definitely suggest it to anyone that's looking forward to their future. <laughs> I'm very, very excited for her. She had set her goals and her laid out her plan and she's achieving it and she's accomplished a huge a huge event in her life very proud of charlie because she's come a long way and hadn't been easy for her to do i know school's a lot harder now these days and the, a lot more technology and she's got chemistry oh she's grown up too fast oh god Ooh, a favorite moment there is really too many to count um, there's a night that I found myself apparently lying on the floor talking about poofy dresses. I had apparently fallen through the front door and my best friend decided to videotape this moment so that was pretty awesome. There's lots of um, adult beverages involved with that evening. Um, let's see what else. Good lord, there's so many. We had a paint your date party. I used to be in a sorority. I did it for about a year. Um, they basically fill gallon drums full of paint and you just run around smacking each other with giant sponges and water guns and it's like this crazy wild experience and oh gosh, I don't even know. Party buses, party barges, it's a lot of fun. We used to go out to Lake Travis and just have a good time. It was pretty awesome. We got to jump off the top of a boat. I remember I had gone right after I had surgery on my shoulder and I had informed one of my guy friends who was a swimmer that he was going to save me so I didn't drown. So I jumped off the top of the boat and he jumped off after me and basically pulled me to shore. It was pretty awesome. Um, but I'd always hoped that my little girl would come home after she graduated and live near us and she's not. She's spreading her wings and she's going to go live someplace else and that's, that's sad for me because I really wanted her to come home, but she's not. But I'm happy for her because she's getting the job that she wanted and she's gonna go live where she wants. So today is a day of celebration and a day of happy times because she's accomplished her goals and is going on to the next stage in her life. Wanna be able to teach high school students seems like the most difficult challenge out there that she actually wanna take that on is Real, really proud to tell everybody at work you know what she's doing it's like I don't know if I could teach high school or not on there because you know, some kids just don't care but it's you know the ones that do care you want to motivate them and she's telling us you now she's trying to motivate the the ones that don't care on there and it's just, most people wouldn't take that on and she just she's ready to get after it uh, my thoughts are that Charlie has had such a history of changes and moves ahead starting when she was three years old and she was already acting as an independent person 
and she has throughout her whole life gone from one kind of achievement, lots of them in academics, lots of them in sports, lots of them for just caring for people and doing things that help others. And we couldn't be more happy for the whole life that Charlie's had and what he, she has accomplished as an individual. Because we at the top, oh. 